we know that reality is perception. In fact, in modern medicine, we've been blessed with the science of studying that perception from the human mind. Of course, I'm talking about psychiatry. We know that your thoughts and the experiences that you have in your life shape your reality. My reality is very different from your reality. This is obviously not rocket science, this concept of reality being perception, but more or less common sense. Many people try to describe things like deja vu or the Mandela effect is simply just a skip or a fault memory in the human mind. However, with things like the Mandela effect, it's not like one person is misremembering something. It's a whole group of people. Nelson Mandela was an activist in South Africa fighting against apartheid. Now he was jailed and many people have the memory of Nelson Mandela dying in jail in the 1980s. However, reality as we know it is that he did not die in jail and in fact after his release he ended up becoming the prime minister of south africa for about five years and passed away in 2013. well you see the phenomenon of misremembering his actual death isn't isolated to this one event around Nelson Mandela. Yes, it's where we get the name of the Mandela effect, but this effect happens all the time. People have memories of certain movies coming out that never came out, and like groups of people, people that don't know each other, will remember an event happening a certain way in which it didn't happen. Well, many scientists are now starting to explore the idea of a multiverse or multiple universes, universes living in a parallel timeline with our own. And many scientists are starting to possibly believe that these missed memories, these false memories aren't necessarily false, but signs that certain people have gone in and out of different parallel universes. And today we're gonna to talk about one man in particular who landed at an airport, only he had a passport from a country that does not exist, at least not in our universe. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce and today we're going to be talking about the man from the mysterious United Kingdom of Tarid. Now this story is truly very, very fascinating to me. If you have been following along with our videos on David Zublik's channel, you know that we've talked a lot about time and what time actually is and the speeding up and slowing down of time. Well, now we're gonna be looking at multiverses or parallel multi-dimensional realities. And even though I'm presenting this particular story to you on a mystery Monday, we will be looking at other stories that back these claims of parallel realities or parallel universes. But let's get started with the man from Torrid. It was July in 1954 when a flight landed in Tokyo's International Airport. This flight was like any other flight coming in. Most of the passengers on the airplane were Japanese, but of course there were 
a few Europeans there as well coming in to Tokyo for business. And as you do and have done when you go into a new country, you have to go through customs. Now, I travel a lot internationally and sometimes customs in certain airports can be stricter than other airports. Honestly, the airport here in Atlanta, the international airport in Atlanta is one of the longest customs in the world in my opinion. And of course, this was 1954, so I can imagine, even though I was not alive then, that the customs, even though they were strict and they were looking at documents, they probably were not as strict as they are now. But in saying that, one of the passengers caught their attention. Again, this was a European passenger. And when he went through customs, he did what anybody would do and handed over his passport. Well, the person at the customs desk immediately was taken aback. This was a passport that this man did not recognize. The color itself was somewhere between a blue and a purple color, and they couldn't figure out if the emblem on the front of the passport was that of a lion or a flower. The passport claimed to be from a country called the United Kingdom of Torrid. Now, the customs agent had never heard of this country before. And so when he started to flip through the passport, he realized that this man had been traveling a lot with this particular passport and had multiple stamps from multiple countries and ports of entry, including Tokyo. Well, this really baffled the customs agent. Because again, he'd never heard of this country before, but according to the documentation, the passport, it seemed to be a legitimate country. And so the customs agent called over his manager. He told the gentleman, the European gentleman, that he was sorry, but he had never heard of this country. When his colleague, his manager came over, he presented the passport to the manager and the manager was also baffled because the manager had never heard of the United Kingdom of Torrid either. So both customs agents were extremely confused. Well, our European traveler from Torrid also became confused. You see, according to the European traveler, the United Kingdom of Torrid had been around for at least a thousand years. This was a country that everyone knew about. It wasn't some minuscule place that could easily be confused or forgotten about. The European traveler spoke French, but also spoke many other European languages as well as Japanese. So there was no denying that this man was from the continent of Europe. The manager at the customs desk asked this traveler if he had other documentation. Well, he did. The European traveler from Torrid pulled out a driver's license from the United Kingdom of Torrid, as well as an insurance card issued from the United Kingdom of Torrid. Being extremely confused by the situation, the customs workers decided to pull out a map. When they pulled the map out, they asked the European traveler to show them on the map where Torrid is located. If he could point out Torrid, this would answer all their questions and would legitimize his documents. The man's finger immediately went to the Pyrenees Mountains in between Spain and France. He pointed to the Principality of Andorra. However, when he looked and saw that the Principality of Andorra was the Principality of Andorra on the map and not the United Kingdom of Torrid, the man became hysterical. It was obvious that this man was not faking anything. He was legitimately traumatized by the fact that his country, country he had documentation from, legal documentation from, was not on our map. Now, just a side note, I've actually been to Andorra. 
The Pyrenees Mountains, in my opinion, are one of the most mystical places in our world. And it is said that a lot of RH negative people are found in this mysterious place in the Pyrenees. But back to our mysterious traveler. Yes, he was hysterical. It was obvious that there was something wrong. Well, the Japanese government could not let him enter the country. They were afraid that this was possibly a setup for espionage. So they told the traveler that they were gonna have to escort him to a hotel room and guard him for the night. The traveler was okay with that. He left his passport, his driver's license, and his insurance card at the airport and grabbed his bags and proceeded to go to the hotel. In the meantime, the officials at the airport contacted the business that this man claimed to work for. The business said that they had never heard of him. This appointment that he had scheduled this business meeting in Tokyo was not on their books. No such appointment or meeting had been scheduled. But back in the hotel, uh, the Japanese government decided to put him really high so there was no way that he could have escaped. Couldn't have climbed out the window. They had two guards outside the door. It was understood that the next day there was going to be some officials coming down to interview him. And our mysterious man from Torrid was absolutely okay with this. Before he closed the door to go to bed, he did ask the guards if he could have a pill for a headache. I think I would probably have a headache as well if I showed up in Japan with my United States passport and the Japanese officials told me that they had never heard of the United States of America. How traumatic would that be? So the guards gave him his headache pill and closed the door for him to go to sleep. The guards sat at the hotel door all night, two of them. Nobody came or went from the room. But the next morning when the officials were there to interview our man from Torrid, there was nobody in the room. Again, this hotel room was super high up. No way he could have escaped through the window. And in fact, his luggage, none of his belongings were in the hotel room and the hotel room appeared as if no one had been inside of it. Well, back at the airport, they went to go retrieve all his documentations, his passport, his driver's license, his insurance card. When they went to retrieve it though, it was gone. Now, many people believe that the man from the United Kingdom of Torrid is just an urban legend or creepy pasta. I don't believe this. The main reason why I don't believe it's an urban legend or creepy pasta is because the Japanese government will not talk about it. If this was just a simple urban legend that had happened all those years ago, you would think that the Japanese government would just deny it. It didn't happen, but they won't. Again, they won't talk about it. So what do you think on this Mystery Monday? Do you believe in parallel universes? I do. And in somewhere out there, in some parallel world, there is a country called the United Kingdom of Torrid. What about the Mandela effect? Have you been a part of this? Is there something that you absolutely remember happening that didn't happen? I've had those situations myself too. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you guys so much for participating in this video. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your week. Thank you again to Josh McKay for doing our music and to Todd Roderick for helping me produce this video. God bless you all.